hello guys and welcome to Nemtech channel my name is Nehema Renda guys today we are going to discuss on the python casting but also there's something that uh, we didn't finish in the previous tutorial about uh, you know type conversion when we were discussing those uh, you know uh, those uh, data types uh, and so i want us to begin first by handling what uh, type conversion and then uh, basically you know that uh, you can convert from one type to another like i can convert from an integer float and a complex uh, methods to to any other and uh, guess, uh, before we get started please consider subscribing and uh, to the subscribers i really appreciate uh, very very much you can as well like the video I appreciate very very much and so now um i want us to convert to learn how to convert you know if these are uh, types uh, from one uh, from you know from one type to another and then uh, we're going to begin with uh, let me uh, with an integer let me begin with an integer and then uh, allow me to zoom in so that you can see uh, and then I guess uh, let me try to create here a variable like uh, let me use x and then uh, let me assign it to something like uh, I want to convert an integer to a float so basically you know an integer is a whole number like uh, let me say let me convert it to float first of all let me say uh, float uh, let me say float actually let me use a uh, you know small letter let me use small letter float float and then uh, you know create these uh, normal brackets and then uh, let me type in the integer that I want to convert it like uh, let me use something like uh, 10 10 and then uh, now I want us to print out this uh, you know these stuff so I'm going to uh, to, for, to first begin with the what you know the, with the print function so that we print out what this you know stuff so i'm going to use what a print x so basically it should be it should be what it should be you know uh, it should be you know a float you know here but uh, let me use a small x here i remember that the python is case sensitive if you don't write you know and uh, the exact uh letters it might bring you, you know, some issue, a lot of issues, basically. Uh, and then I guess I want us to print also the function that is going to display the type here. So I'm going to use what uh, the uh, this are uh, you know function here. Let me say print, and let me say print, and then uh, let me say a uh, type. Let me say type. Actually, sorry. Let me say type. Let me say type. Then uh, inside the create this are uh, you know parenthesis the bracket the brackets and then uh, let me add what the the variable here x but uh ensure that uh, this x and this one you know matches remember that uh, you know python is case sensitive and then now guys uh, i want us to run this stuff let me try to zoom out first i want us to run so i want to show you but i uh, by now i think you know uh, how to run this you know uh, codes now terminal you go to the run button here a uh, run tab you click and then you can go to the run then it's going to give you a lot of option but uh, remember this project is an app uh, we created then we gave it the name of app so i'm going to use this one but i guess you can always see that you have the shortcut which is uh, shift plus uh, f10 so when you click on shift plus f10 then it's going to open the you know the terminal here and then i guess you can see here at the end we have what at uh, this terminal and uh uh, you know the class is what is the float so basically you have converted this uh 10 let me try to zoom in uh basically you have converted this 10 is, is an integer to a float and then you can see now the float is 10.0 so basically this is how you can do it you can convert what uh you can convert uh, uh, actually an integer to a float and so guys okay, so let's try also to convert a float you know to an integer so basically we know that a float is uh, any number with a decimal like uh, let me use any number like uh, 50 a point uh, four five six or whichever value but remember it has a decimal but then here i'm going to change it to an integer i want to convert this float to an integer so i'm going to use the int a function here integer function and then uh, guys uh, you remember the shortcut to run these are codes uh, it's shift plus f10 and then uh, guys you can see here at the terminal you know the uh, data type is what is an integer and then uh, what uh, you know the type here is, a, is an integer so basically you have converted this float you know to an integer so basically this is how you, it's you can do it you can convert an integer to a float uh, let's try also to convert a complex 
uh, to convert an integer to uh, actually to a, to a complex so i'm going to use um let me use that. let me say complex complex and then uh, here i'm going to add to type in an integer so an integer uh, actually an integer is gonna be what let me say something like uh, or let me use 100 or whichever value you have provided it's an integer and then i do it i uh, click control uh, actually shift sorry shift plus 15 and then i guess you can see here at the time now you know the type is what is a complex and then you can see here uh, you know the type function you know the type here is a is a complex uh, but i guess uh, before we go to today's uh stuff allow me to show you a uh, random numbers in python so let me first of all play everything and i guess you need to consider that uh, python does not have any a uh, random function to make a random number but uh python has a built-in module a uh, called random that uh, you know can be used to make a random numbers and uh, let me try to use this example let me say import uh import i uh, import and then uh import let me say random import random and then uh, let me print out let me use the print function here and then uh and then here i'm going to say random actually random a uh, random dot uh dot let me use random range a random range a random range uh actually a random range yeah a random range then uh, the range between one uh two perhaps ten so it's going to give me any number random that uh, ranges between one to uh one to ten so let me click on the uh shift plus 17 to run these uh codes shift plus 17 and then i guess you can see it has given me what a random number here which is uh eight so basically this is how you can do it you can create a random uh actually a random number uh in python so guys you can see when you i try to you know refresh or reprint it again like when i click on shift uh plus 10 guys you can see it's going to give me any a uh, uh, random number again and, and another random number like uh, if i cl click again shift uh, plus 15 again then i guess you can see it gives me another number let me try again shift plus 15 and then i guess you can see it gives me uh, another random numbers so basically this is how you can do what you can create random numbers in python uh, but i guess uh, today we're going to discuss on the python casing and uh, basically how to specify a variable you know a type in python and i guess uh, there may be you know times when you want to specify a type uh, to a variable so this can be done uh, with the casing so i want us to try here an example uh basically let me use what let me use um first of all let me create a variable like uh, this time let me use a let me use a and then uh, let me assign it to something like uh, let me say let me use an integer int actually int and then uh, let me say what let me say uh, let me say what let me say one one let me use an integer so basically 10 is our integer and then uh, let me print out uh, let me print uh, let me print what let me print a and then i uh, remember the shortcut to run shift plus 15 and then i uh, draw our time now let me go down and then i guess you can see that i have created what these are uh, you know these are uh, integer here and so guys uh, let me also try with a uh, float so with a float i'm going to use uh let me say c let me b let me say b and assign it to let me say integer first of all and then uh, here let me create uh, a, a float here let me say something like a 20.1 20.1 20 and then i do it yeah 20.1 is a float and then uh, let me also create a string here let me say see then uh, let me say integer uh, integer and then i do it i do it let me create also an integer actually a string here and then uh, perhaps let me say 40 actually 40 40 and then at the print function i'm going to use uh, also print uh, b also print a uh, print at print c print c and then i guess uh, to run it it is uh, shift plus 10 you remember the shortcut and then i guess uh, to our terminal you can see that we have created this you know integer so the second one was uh, 
and was basically a what was a float the third one was a string but i guess you can see that all of them are now what are now um you know integers but then let me try also to create uh you know the to display you know these are types and, the, and then i'm going to use that the print and then uh, actually print print then uh, you remember it's type type then i'm going to say what let me say a and then uh, also let me create sorry let me create uh, also for print a print and then a uh, type type i'm going to say uh, let me say what let me say actually let me say b uh, let me say b but then uh, for say i'm going to say uh, print what print uh, type so let me say scene and then uh, to run it you're, you're going to click on the shift plus f10 and then i guess you can see and then i guess uh, let's try also with the float uh, let's try also with the float like uh let me go here and then uh, here change to a float let me say a float float here again let me change it to float let me say float and then uh, here also let me change it to uh let me say float again float uh float then uh here the value so the first one let's remain to be a 10 and then uh so what i'm gonna do is a uh, limited to do what let me try to you know print it out so uh or uh, by the way let me try to add also another one here let me create d let me create d and then uh, let me say again a uh, float uh float then uh, let me add this one let me say something like um 40 point three then uh, let me create also print uh print that print uh, d then also to the type the type function here let me also create a uh, print uh, print that print uh, type a uh, print type then i'm gonna say what let me say um first of all create this uh, bracket then uh, let me say d uh, and i guess at the time you know then i can see guys uh, that we have what uh, we have this you know uh 10 all of them are now floats so 10.0 so the second one was a float the first one was a string remember this first one was a string the float the you know the float and the you know the string actually the integer a float and a string and then i guess uh, but you can see now that uh, all of them are now what are now uh what are now float let's try also with what uh, with a uh, complex now with a or a, let's say also with a string Let, let's try a string let me use a string so with the string we use str uh, so this is a string function and then also let me change it here to a string str and then uh, here again let me change it to a uh, str str and then uh, here let me again change it to str again string and then uh, guys to run it it is shift plus what a uh, plus uh, f10 and then i uh, guess you can see that uh, all of them are now what are now strings and i uh, guess uh, basically this is what i wanted to show you in this video how to you know specify you know a type uh onto a variable and uh, the entire process co is called what casting and i uh, guess you've learned how to construct an in an integer number from an integer literal a float literal and also uh you know a string literal and also you've learned how to construct a float you know a number from an integer literal a float literal or a string literal as well as you know the string how to construct a string from a you know a wide variety of data types including the string integer literals and uh, also uh, the float literals so basically guys I'm re i really appreciate you for your time and uh, if you found that uh, the video has been of help uh, please consider subscribing and uh, also like uh, the video and i guess until next time goodbye